Hey guys, it's Rich from Rich Rebuilds here and I want to make a quick video thanking all of you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, the views, the comments, just everything. Now, this stupid little channel that my wife loves so much. You know what things you get done though? What? What? You're a silly little car show that you do. Oh. That you make sure oh, you get done. It's just me being me, I'm open, I'm honest, and I don't sugarcoat anything. And I also post my failures, which a lot of people don't do as well. And I also admit when I'm flat out wrong, which is the majority of the time. The channel has been gaining an insane amount of traction. This time last year I had about a thousand subscribers. Now I have well over 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. Since then I've gained a small cult-like following. People start recognizing me around town at auto parts stores. People even take candid photos of me after a minor traffic violation. I flew 1,700 miles to Texas and someone even recognized me in a crowd of over a thousand people. I'm also starting to get some really cool stuff in the mail like custom laser engraved kitchen knives, cease and desist letters from car gurus, a really cool Tesla bed, and also an autopilot buddy which tricks the car into thinking your hands on the wheel when you have autopilot, but I don't have autopilot. But I'll try it anyways and see what happens. Anyways, I've made great friends, met new people, and learned tons in the process. And even though I may come across as harsh in some of my rants, I'm actually very approachable and I love hearing your stories. Send me an email. If I don't respond, just email me again because I've been super busy lately. Now here's how I've changed since the channel started. I used to get really anxious and have super anxiety about being on camera, but you guys have actually helped me through that in many ways. Only thing I learned from this video is that you can land a 747 between those teeth. Please, for the love of God, do more podcasts because you are very unattractive. Your nose looks like a deformed Haas avocado. In terms of equipment, I used to film everything on a GoPro Hero 4 and an iPhone 6 as of only a few months ago. Since then, my new equipment consists of an iPhone 7 Plus as well as a Canon G7X, which is recording this video right now. I bought a DJI Phantom 4, but then I crashed it into a tree. I took it apart, sold all the parts, and I bought a DJI Spark instead. I also have a new lighting rig set up. I'm still working out a few kinks with it, but those circles you see in my eyes, they aren't contacts. It's actually the lighting ring directly in front of me. The reason why I don't have lenses in my glasses is because it causes a lot of glare. Much better. Since you guys like glare so much, how about this, huh? Much better, right? Also, I keep the glasses on because my face is so used to them, when I take them off, my face does this. See? Please stay tuned for more ridiculous content, more Tesla builds, builds of other EVs, and I'm also gonna be introducing my Z06 to the mix as well, General Zod. Yes, I named my cars, get off your high horse. And as time goes on, I'm gonna let you into my personal life a little bit more. I'm gonna take you for a tour around my home so you could see how I live. Trust me, you're gonna like it. It's exactly what you're thinking. This is also a reminder that this is not only a Tesla channel, which is why I didn't name it Rich's Tesla channel, or Tesla Rebuild channel, or Rich's Tesla Emporium, or Black Guy Doing Tesla Stuff, which many of you suggested. Again, I want to take some time out to thank everyone. Thank you to the subscribers, the Patreons, people that like, share, and subscribe the videos. If you're new, thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And with your help, maybe at the end of the year, I'll be thanking everyone for 100,000 subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.